Hello, and welcome to my next Executive Series video. Our topic today is Quality System. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If this is your first Executive Series video, please go back and check out the introduction. Check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and an outline of the material. In the Executive Series, we have a standard agenda which covers four main areas. You can see those in the progress bar below. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video to get the three bonus questions. Our requirement, quality system, comes directly from 820.5 and 1345 sections 4.1.1 to 4.1.4. Quality system in five words. Implement controls meeting regulatory requirements. This is where the FDA dictates that we must implement a quality management system that is commensurate in scope, size, and complexity with the risk of our medical device. So we get to scale our quality system to meet not only the complexity of our device, but the risk that our device presents. This is where ISO references three specific roles. They reference a manufacturer, an authorized representative, and a distributor, and an importer. ISO outlines the requirements for defining our organizational structure. We will determine the appropriate structure, processes, procedures, and resources needed to comply with 1345. We will implement risk management throughout the quality management system. We will control changes to the organization, to processes, to products, to documents. Make sure that those changes are reviewed for their impact against the quality system requirements the regulatory requirements, and our product itself. All changes will be reviewed and approved before implementation. How do I know this is working? Well, first, I've established a quality management system. Second, I've shown that that quality management system is effective. Third, I've become ISO certified and I have a 1345 certificate. And then finally, I maintain my quality management system through appropriate change control and process monitoring. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, my QMS is not established or it's not effective. Second, I get major non-conformances in external quality audits. Third, I'm not ISO certified. And then fourth, I'm not controlling changes, which is required to ensure that my quality management system maintains its effectiveness. Now for those three bonus questions. Can you walk me through the size and scope of our quality management system? Second, how do we control changes? make sure that they are reviewed and approved before they are made, including any organizational changes. And then finally, how do we apply risk management throughout all of product realization? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.